in this question it is given a thin uniform annular disc of mass capital m has outer radius 4r and inner radius 3r the work required to take a unit mass from point p on its axis to infinity is now this question is um the way to solve this question is just look at the work done here okay so they are asking the work done for a unit mass so the work done for a unit mass will be the gravitational potential multiplied by the mass so mass they have said that it is unity so it will be enough if we directly calculate the gravitational potential okay so the gravitational potential v is equal to minus gm by r okay this is a general formula what we use for an object of mass m if it is a spherical object but here this object is not spherical this object is like a disc okay with a center uh, the center part is removed and there is a little bit portion here which is having mass so the way to get the answer for this one will be integrals okay so we have to integrate g dm by x okay now what is this g dm and x so g represents the universal gravitational constant it is a constant dm represents the mass of a small element which small element i'll put a negative sign here so the small element is you are having this disc we are going to consider a small element like a rod like a ring here okay so this is our small element and the mass of this small element will be dm okay now how to calculate this dm now we know generally mass is density into volume isn't it but since this is a two dimensional object we will write surface density into area okay so what is the surface density surface density will be total mass divided by total area so what is the total area so this is the portion that is present isn't it so the full area minus the area cut in the middle okay so the full area will be pi into 4r the whole square minus pi into 3r the whole square so that will be the total area so this is the density surface density multiplied by area of this disc okay what is the area of this disc now the length of this element is dr the length of this element is dr and uh, i mean the thickness of the element is dr and the circumference will be 2 pi r okay so let us imagine this is r radius okay uh, so that will be 2 pi r into the thickness of dr so this will be dm okay so what is dm dm is equal to capital m divided by 4 into 16 so i'll take pi common i will get 16 r square minus 9 r square into 2 pi r dr right so here i will have this pi cancelled out so i have 2 divided by 7 r square capital r square into r dr 2 capital m by 7 r square into r dr so this is the mass of my small element dm okay and now what is this x okay so x is the distance from the element to the point okay so in our diagram if i consider it like this okay and this is our small element our point p is here now the distance from the center to the point p is 4r that is given but the distance from this to this is this length is small r okay we need this length this is x okay so using the pythagoras theorem we can say x is equal to square root of r square plus 16 r square that is 4r the whole square so this will be the value of x so substituting all this in our equation we know potential is equal to minus integral of capital g into dm so what is dm 2 into m into r dr divided by 7 r square okay by x so x is square root of small r square plus 16 r square now when you have the integral we have to apply the limits so this small element okay is going from 3r to 4r so this point is 4r so your element has to be integrated from 3r to 4r isn't it so the limits will be the limits will be lower limit is 3r and the upper limit is 4r okay and therefore therefore we will have capital v equal to minus 
g capital M divided by 7 r square into integral of 3 r to 4 r r dr divided by square root of r square plus 16 r square okay now we have to solve this integral that's all then you will get the answer so to solve this what we will do is see this r is um, inside a square root okay so in order to remove it we will consider let x square equal to already we know x square is equal to r square plus 16 r square so if i differentiate this what will i get 2x dx equal to 2r dr and this is a constant so it will become equal to 0. Therefore 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So I can say that r into dr is equal to x into dx. Okay. So your integral will change but what about the limits? Okay. So when small r is equal to 3r, what is x value? So when I substitute 3r here, I will get 9r square. 9 plus 16 is 25 square root of 25 r square will be 5 r so when r is equal to 3 r x is equal to 5 r so this is the first lower limit and the second upper limit will be if r is equal to 4 r so in case of small r if i substitute 4 r i am going to get 16 r square plus 16 r square that is 2 times 16 r square therefore x will be equal to root 2 into okay 4 r so i will write 4 root 2 into r correct so this will be the upper limit therefore the potential equation will be minus gm by 7 2 gm by 7 capital r square into integral of the lower limit we got it as 5 r and the upper limit is 4 root 2 into r and in the numerator we have r dr which can be replaced by x into dx and in the denominator we have x so here we have substituted r dr by x dx and this is equal to x and we have changed the limits from r1 to r2 we have changed it to x1 to x2 okay so this x will get cancelled hereafter it is just simple simplification so 2 gm by 7 r square if you integrate dx you are going to get x over the limits 5 r and 4 root 2 times r so that if you apply minus 2 capital gm 7 r square into into 4 root 2 r minus 5 r that's it so 1 r will get cancelled therefore your answer is minus 2 gm by 7 r 7 r 1 r is cancelled into 4 root 2 minus 5 okay so this is the potential and this potential is only equal to the work done from moving point p to infinity from moving a unit mass from point p to infinity okay so that means option which option is this option b i guess option b is the correct answer okay